Hey there Pisces and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. In this reading we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. Okay, Pisces, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week is the Two of Swords. Some confusion, a bit of being stuck, not moving, possibly stressing out or an inability to decide about something. We'll see what this is about once we clarify. In your current situation, you get the, or I'm sorry, in your recent past, you get the Four of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. You're really taking some time out for yourself. You're healing, healing yourself, healing um, your energies, really focusing on what makes you emotionally fulfilled and really focusing on yourself, kind of what you need, what you want, making sure your environment feels good, that you feel good. Self-care, really, really nice energy. In your current situation, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Queen of Swords. There's a new beginning on the table here, okay? It could be um, a new offer coming in or just a new beginning overall. However, there's some conflict tied up to this new beginning. It could be that you're conflicted about this new beginning or it could be that this conflict is tied up to this new beginning. Either way, there's a person showing up here as the King of Swords. Could be you, could be the other person if you're dealing with an air sign, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But whoever this person is, they're coming at this whole situation, the conflict, from a very logical perspective and not an emotional perspective at all, okay? Um, in your near future, you get the Queen of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Tower. There's a connection here, a divine connection that you have a lot of love for. Possibly they have a lot of love for you as well. This is definitely a divine connection with the Six of Cups here. Possibly someone from your past or someone that feels very, very familiar to you. But... There's also a tower moment coming up here in your near future. Now, we'll see what this tower moment is about when we clarify. But first, let's start off by clarifying the Four of Swords in your recent past. What is this Four of Swords for Pisces? Four of Swords is clarified by the Five of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. You're healing something from your past. There's a situation here, um, possibly a long-term connection or long-term commitment that you had, something that was very stable, that seemed very long-term, like it had a lot of long-term potential. There's some regret and remorse tied up to it. So it could be that something happened, a fight, breakup, whatever the case may be, you're healing from this, okay? You're healing from whatever pain is tied up to this past situation. And I also see that in addition to healing from this pain, someone here has a desire to communicate. Either you want them to communicate with you or you have a desire to communicate with them. Possibly about, you know, as you heal, you may realize them some things. Possibly you're expecting an apology for them or expecting some communication or you'd like to communicate with them about something. Um, but this definitely has to do with something in your past that you're regretting. Like you're regretting or you, you feel some regret about how the situation unfolded, about something like that. And you, you want to communicate about it. Let's take a look at the Nine of Cups in your recent past. What is the Nine of Cups about? The Nine of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, which you get in your current situation, and the Six of Cups, which you get in your near future. Okay, there's a situation here that you want to open up to. You want to pursue something new with someone. It could be that you want to pursue something new with someone from your past, or it could just be that you want to offer love to someone new, entirely new. I don't feel like that's the case, though, because with the Six of Cups here, this is telling me that this is a past connection or a divine connection, and so it feels like it's a connection from your past. Whoever this person is, just the thought of offering love, of having a new beginning with this person in this connection brings them a lot of emotional balance and kind of like a wish fulfillment. It's like, oh, if I could have one thing, there's one thing that I wanted that would make me feel really happy and really good, it would be to have um, a new opportunity in this connection. And basically, you know, make something happen from a loving perspective within this connection and start fresh. Let's take a look at this Queen of Pentacles in your recent past. Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Four of Swords, which opened up your recent past reading. Yeah, there was a separation here and a breakup. Intuitively, I was picking it up because I didn't see it in the cards, but now the Five of Pentacles is showing up, which is telling me that it actually happened. It could be 
that you're experiencing this breakup currently. I don't feel like that's the case though. I feel like whoever this person is, they're reliving the pain. They're reliving the abandonment, the separation, the all the difficult stuff that were associated with that breakup, okay? And they're kind of taking a time out. I don't see whoever this person is. I feel like this is you. I don't see you doing very much. The the pain and the you know, all the difficult stuff from the breakup are coming up and you're working on healing that. This is a big emphasis for you in your recent past. Lots of healing, healing this pain. And as you're going through this healing process, there's not a lot happening. You're kind of just taking time out, focusing on yourself, focusing on the things that you need and what makes you feel good. And with the hangman showing up here, it's telling me that you're not taking any action to, to any of this. You're not, pretend, you're not like pursuing this other person. You're not expecting anything from them. You're just kind of, you know, Taking a step back, putting everything on pause while you focus on yourself. Let's take a look at this Ace of Pentacles in your current situation. The Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Fool, the Ten of Swords, and the Tower, which you have again in your near future, okay? You want a new beginning here. You want to start fresh. The Fool isn't just about like, oh, I want to like, you know... I want to start a new relationship. I want to start um, a new job. This is like starting fresh, like from scratch. Like I want clean slate and everything. Like I want to just clean the slate entirely. Now, with the Ten of Swords showing up here, however, it, you're, you're coming into this with an energy of like, yeah, but that's not going to happen. But that's not going to work. I want this new beginning, okay? I want to start fresh. I want to start clean, but it's not going to happen. There's no way this is going to work. Or this relationship is over, it's done, we're broken up, this isn't good, there's nothing for me to do here, right? And what this is creating for you is tower moments. Tower moments are basically energies that come out of nowhere and they're kind of like earth shattering. Now, intuitively I'm picking up that you're experiencing these tower moments because you're fighting against what you want. The energies for a new beginning are here. You get Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, okay? You want a new beginning. You want to start fresh, but then you keep coming at it with this feeling of, but it's not going to work, but it's over, but this is done, but this isn't going to go anywhere. And so you might be creating some very difficult energies for you where it's kind of like, you know, you're going against the energies that are present. Universe doesn't really like that that much. Um, and I feel like you might realize that, but again, we'll see. Let's take a look at this five of wands in the current situation. Five of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. There's conflict here, okay? You want to resolve this conflict. You want to restore balance in this situation. And again, I'm saying you because this is your reading. This could be your person. This could be the both of you, right? You would know what resonates. Somebody here wants to restore balance within the situation. There's, there's a conflict. You guys are clearly like you broke up, you're separated, there was an argument, whatever the case may be, right? There's conflict now. This person wants to restore balance. They want to communicate and basically bring balance back. They want to feel good about the situation. Like, yeah, energies are balanced. We're good. I feel happy about this whole thing. But they're resisting it. They're setting up this beautiful little wall. See how he has like this wall of sticks? They're creating like this barrier around themselves where they're like, no, I'm not going to do that. You stay back. I'm just going to resist this urge to res resolve this conflict. And again, kind of fighting against the energies. There's conflict. You want to resolve it. You want to feel good about it. You want to restore balance, but you're resisting that. And why are you resisting that? I don't know. You tell me. Let's take a look at this King of Swords in your current situation. King of Swords is clarified by the Moon, the Judgment, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So on a very deep, deep intuitive level, okay, like your higher self, your, your subconscious, etc., you do know what needs to be done here. You have a clear plan of action, okay? And I slowly see you reaching that realization, right? And it coming from like a subconscious place into like a conscious place where you're like, okay, I realize what I need to do. I realize what needs to happen here. This is going to happen. Like this is... With the judgment card showing up here, it's all about realization and awakening to something, okay? You're going to get to that point. However, in order to get to that point, you have to focus on yourself. You have to focus on your stability, your foundation, what makes you feel good and what makes you be healthy, right? You cannot focus on restoring balance in a situation when you yourself are still not completely healed. And in the recent past, I see you working on that with the Queen of Pentacles. 
And then in the current situation, it's kind of like that almost took a back seat or maybe you thought like, okay, I'm done with the healing. I'm good. I fixed everything that needs to be fixed. And you're focusing more on this connection. In your current situation, there's going to come this realization where it's like, yeah, you know what needs to be done, but you have to focus on yourself first. You have to put yourself first and focus on your needs and your desires before you can focus on anything else. Let's take a look at this Queen of Cups in your near future. The Queen of Cups is clarified by the Magician, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands. The Two of Swords is the main energy for your reading. You're manifesting you or this person. Again, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Either way, whoever this person is, they're manifesting love. They're manifesting the love to come back. They're manifesting an equal exchange of love. But they're all up in their head about it. They're stuck in their head, right? They're literally sitting on a bench doing nothing because they're all up in their head. Should I do this? Should I do that? But should I do this? But what if I do that? But what if they say that? It's just a bunch of confusion and it's self-inflicted, by the way. Swords are all of the mind. So you're basically creating this situation for yourself or your person. Now, the reason they're also feeling stuck is because they have this immense desire to take action and make something happen. With the Knight of, of Wands here, this is all about someone acting from a place of passion. Like, yeah, I want this. I'm going to make this happen. This makes me feel good. Charge ahead, right? But they're not doing that. They're sitting here, they're manifesting, and they're stuck in their head. They want love. They want love in this situation. But they're not doing anything about it because all they're doing is just sitting there overanalyzing the situation. Let's take a look at the Six of Cups in your near future. Six of Cups is clarified by the Emperor, the Page of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Again, this person knows what they want. They want this connection. They want to make it happen. The Emperor is all about, like, I know what I want. I'm getting it. Super confident. No problems here. Okay? Now, they want this connection. However, they're not doing anything about it because they're stuck in their head. They're overanalyzing. This could be you. This could be your person. This could be the both of you. Okay. With the page of swords showing up here, that's telling you that there may be some movement, some, and I'm saying some like on a very basic, tiny level. Okay. Maybe a communication, maybe a message, maybe, you know, checking out their social media. Not much is happening here in this divine connection because someone here is all up in their head, overthinking, overanalyzing everything. Let's take a look at this tower closing off your reading in the near future. The tower is clarified by the Seven of Swords, the King of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, divine pair. Lots of love between the two of you. And the Six of Cups as well, twice. You guys are definitely a divine pair. There is definitely so much love between the both of you. Um, with this tower moment, I see someone coming into this energy of not trusting the other person, okay? There is a lot of love here. There's a ton of love with the King of Cups. Lots and lots of love, okay? But there's also this energy of distrust, of like, um almost like you they think that you're trying to manipulate them or you think they're trying to manipulate you there's a lack of trust here and whoever this person is they're holding on to this energy i don't trust this i don't trust you but i still love you see how that could be a little bit confusing and could create some problematic energies let's take a look at what energies the universe has for you pisces two more please You get the Page of Wands, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles. You're slowly, very slowly moving towards this Empress person. This is a person that you care a lot about. You obviously are very attracted to them. You find them like all that in a bag of chips. You're slowly moving towards that, okay? With the Page of Wands here that's telling me that you are interested, there is some movement, something happening, but it's going to be very slow. Super, super slow, okay? So, Pisces, that is what I have for you this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this reading resonated with you, please do me a huge favor. Give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment below. It really helps me out. And, of course, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you here for your reading next week. Bye, Pisces.